What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be about a super hot product, like has gone viral many times over and because of that cannot stay in stock. It is the crease piece. If you struggle with creating a cut crease in your eye makeup, this is supposed to be the best tool you could ever find. So seeing other people's results and knowing that this was going to be restocked in February, I started stocking their website, their Instagram page, everything. And I actually got my hands on one of the sets that has three different crease shapes because I wanted to see what it was all about. Do I like it? How does it actually work? Because I haven't watched a ton of reviews, if any. I've mostly just seen everybody else's makeup results and they are fantastic. So had to give it a try for myself. And so I wanted to share my thoughts, show you a couple of demos, how I created the look I'm wearing today and another one you might have seen if you watched a recent video of mine to let you know when this does come back in stock, if it is worth your money. So let's go ahead and dive in. So like I said, I got the set that comes with all three different crease shapes that Crease Piece offers along with the wand that all of these adhere to. This is 20 bucks. I think that is very reasonable to get all of the crease shapes available and they're all reusable. So it's not like it's a one and done kind of tool where you use it, you need to throw it away and then spend 20 bucks sometime soon to keep on doing that. You know what I mean? It was just an easily justified purchase for me, which now that I say probably shouldn't be your bar because <laughs> that's a low bar for me, the way I justify buying things, but moving on. So the different shapes that you get are the wing. This one you can see uh, gets a little bit higher, kind of above your inner corner, and then leaves a little bit of space out here by your brow so that you can kind of create a double wing illusion. And with each of these shapes, you get one for your right and for your left. Then there is the almond shape, one that gets more, do I have this right? No, I clearly do not. One that gets, this is the one that I use to create the look I'm wearing today, that gets more narrow in the inner corner and then gets larger to create that almond shape in the outer half of your eye. And then there is the round shape, which at its highest or is at its highest in the center of your lid. And the way these work, like I said, I didn't watch a ton of video, any videos on the crease piece before actually purchasing. I'd really only seen people's looks using it to know how these actually get attached to the handle. And that is via a piece of tape here. So before I used each of these, I had to peel off some clear plastic. There is a sticky tape here that adheres to the back end of this. I keep on wanting to call it a wand. I mean, it is magical, but it is a handle. So it adheres like that to the back of the handle you can see. But what I didn't anticipate was that because, you know, the tape is going to be strongest in the center because at either end you have the the crease itself kind of wanting to pull away from this bent eye shape here, if that makes sense. Um, I didn't realize that you would, ex you could experience some lifting with this guy. So it is kind of a two or like a, you know, you, you hold it up to your eye and I do find that you have to like kind of press either side of this against your eye as you go in either with your brush or if you're using this as a stamp, which you can see I have, and I'll get into how I prefer to use this later, but depending on how you use it or no matter how you use it, you have to use this kind of three-pronged approach to make sure that the crease piece is touching your eyelid at all times. And I think that's interesting because when I saw, I, again, I don't know why I thought this, for some reason, I thought these like slid over this, like this, there'd be a little pocket in here and it would just slide over this so that it would constantly be that bent shape, but it's not. It is adhesive and they do say this adhesi adhesive is washable and reusable. So I have gotten a few uses out of most of these so far without having to clean them, but they do say that you can wipe them off. So I would just use like a damp, you know, cloth. I have a face halo on me at all times, basically. Wipe that off, let it dry, and then you should be good to go for another few uses. But they do give you some spare tapes, a few spare strips of tape to go on these as well when they do lose their stick. So that quality about them, the fact that they adhere with tape was surprising to me. It probably isn't for you if this is like the 50th video on the crease piece you've watched. But to those who might not be as familiar with it, just an FYI that it is tape that sticks this to the handle. And while it's absolutely not a deal breaker, I do think it could be really cool to see a version of this in the future from them that does slide over top so that these, you know, crease, the actual crease pieces 
really keep that rounded shape on the wand. Not a wand, it's a handle. Now when it comes to actually using these, there are two ways, I mean, I'm sure there are more, but two ways that I have found that are the easiest and most intuitive ways to go about doing it. The first of which is using this like a stencil. So basically you take one of your crease pieces, you hold it up to your eye, pretty much with nothing. If you're like going and creating your crease for the first time, you hold it up to your eye, you dip a brush in product and you use this as a stencil and you go and work your product into your crease to create that shape so that when you pull your crease piece away, that cut crease is created for you and the gradient from blending out all around it is also created there for you too. The other way, and this is actually the way that was just easier for me to learn, it's my preferred way, that is to cut your crease by layering a concealer or just some sort of base on here and stamping it onto your lid. For some reason, no idea why, it has just come easier to me to do that where I stamp the concealer on my lid and then go in and layer powder over top of that. That way it's it acts as a roadmap for where I want to lay my powder, most often my lighter shades over top of that rather than creating my crease first and then having to try to freehand, you know, under where that crease is. Maybe that's why it comes so much easier to me. I'm sure, like I said, I know these aren't the only ways to use these, but as far as the practice that I have had goes, these are the easiest, most intuitive ways. And of those two ways, stamping concealer on to create that crease is just my absolute favorite. It makes it so easy. And it's not the primary way I see it used. So to the extent anybody else was having troubles, like the learning curve was just steep for them as well, maybe that will help you out. Painting your concealer on and stamping your crease onto your lid rather than using it as a stencil give it a try. Overall, I really like my crease piece. I know I had some feedback on, you know, what I'd like to see done in the future regarding like switching from the tape to something more fitted so that you don't have that lifting here. But honestly, it's not deterring me from using it. I have done far more eyeshadow looks with creases using it than before I got it. So it's clearly doing its job. And as far as having all three different crease shapes goes, I think your need or desire for them will totally be dependent on exactly how many different cut crease looks you intend to do and the different kind of versatility you want with the shapes of those. I would say that the almond or the round, depending on your eye shape, might be more of an everyday sort of shape, whereas the winged shape definitely creates a little bit more drama to your look just because it cuts so much higher up above my natural crease anyway, and then really pulls that wing shape out well above where your natural wing would be. It's really meant, in my opinion, for like a double wing or like a big graphic eyeliner sort of look. So if you're not wanting this for super dramatic looks or you just don't have a desire to do a, a large wing look, you can probably skip the wing shape and the round and or almond are probably best for you. But I honestly plan on using all three of them. So I am glad I was able to get the set full set with all three shapes. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I really like it. I think it was worth the wait, especially for the price tag and what you get and how helpful it is. I definitely think it is worth it. So be sure and follow their Instagram page and sign up for like their email list on their website. That is how I made sure I was aware of when their restock was going to be. And then stock the website. I literally set an alarm so that I would be first on the site to have my best chance at snagging one of these guys and it worked. So if you really want one, I recommend it. I think they're really nice. I have seen some hacks on TikToks using an eyelash curler that I've really been wanting to try, but that only creates one crease shape, whereas here you get all three. But maybe I'll try that in the future. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.